and a bitter yet very sweet Northland event is right around the corner. Chum is hosting their Super Rhubarb Festival on Saturday at the Stella Maris Holy Rosary Campus. Natalie joins us in studio with two special guests and shares more about what makes this event so important for the organization. Natalie? Yes, yeah, Sydney, we're talking the Super Rhubarb Festival. I'm here with Bradley Zwagerman, who is the Director of Communications with Chum, and of course, Rhubarbra also made it in this morning. Good morning, Bradley. Good morning. First, so this is Chum's 50th anniversary year, a really big year for you guys, and this year is the Super Rhubarb Festival. What makes this year so different? Yeah, so it being our 50th anniversary, we wanted to do something special for the community. And so we decided, what better than the Super Rhubarb Festival mm -hmm. to commemorate back 50 years ago when 10 churches came together to make chum. So it's going to be really great. We have lots of different food. I heard there's going to be a rhubarb custard pie, Yum. lots of new desserts, some new foods. We got the rhubarb brats, the rhubarb burritos. And the biggest thing that's going to make this year so super is all of the live music. We have mm -hmm. Wind Jammers, Brian Marie, the Front Porch Sinners, uh, Big Wave Dave is going to wow. be there to close out the day. So it's going to be a really fun day. Yeah, and it's a very fun day, very fun event for the community, but it's also a really big fundraiser for you guys and for Chum. So the money raised for this event, how does it help the organization? Yeah, so it just goes right into our general operating fund, but the easiest way to think about it is one pie provides one person a night of shelter. Or if you're taking a look at our food shelf, one pie would serve 60 meals hmm. uh, to feed people using our food shelf. So it's that's just some of the practical pieces of how much your contributions will make at the Super Rhubarb Festival. Yeah, and I mean, like we were talking about, it's so fun, you know, and your money goes towards something in a great organization. And of course, we've got Rhubarbra here. Lots of fun things happening. What kind of things can people expect? There will be a kids' fun run. I hear Rhubarbra has challenged some mascots to a mascot race. Alrighty. Of course, all of the live <laughs> music and, and all the other uh, things we have, like face painting for the kiddos, mm -hmm. a bunch of fun stuff. I think Whole Foods will be there with the blender bike. So Lots of fun things Lots to do. Things. And a lot of volunteers make this event happen. Are you guys still in need of volunteers? Yeah, okay. so we do have a pretty fair number already, but there's still over 100 spots that we need to get filled. Some of the biggest things are the kids area. We need some parking lot attendants, and then after festival cleanup to get everything put away and sent back to Chum. All right, and people can sign up on your website, and we'll also provide a link on our website, too, if yep, people are interested absolutely. in volunteering. Mm -hmm. All righty, well, thank you, Bradley. Thank yeah, you for coming for in me. this morning. And just a reminder that that Super Rhubarb Festival is happening this Saturday from 9 to 3. It's at the Stella Maris Academy, Holy Rosary Academy. There will be live music, raffles, of course, lots of rhubarb, yummy rhubarb custard, perhaps. We'll have more information on our website, but for now, I'll send it back to you, Sydney.